Hello and welcome to Mini Music Monday. Hello, hello. Hello <laughs> and welcome to Mini Music Monday. Big Sale Part 2. Big Sale Part 2. And this week's edition and this week's installment Adele actually listened to Bake Sale last night. I did. Yeah, the whole record. F- front to back, start to finish. Start to finish, through the home stereo system. On the CD, the CD player. On the CD the changer. CD version. Izzy heard the whole thing. Yeah. I heard the whole thing. Izzy tolerated the whole thing. That was pretty surprising, I'm not going to lie. You sat on the couch sort of in the distance. I was working on a... I was actually working on a... Ironically. Album art recreation of Bake Sale. Yes, that you do through the Barlow Family General yeah, Store. I was actually working on a, on a new version. In order. Um, a recreation of the Bake Sale cover, but it was really... All I really did was scratch all those... It was really... It's really cute. The song title's out with an all, which was a... A-W-L. 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 So I etched. I was like, I really etched it in there and then colored in the... Yeah. The scratches... It's cute. It looks really cute. I it was really interesting to me to sit and listen to. Well, we were talking about this and how I realized I don't think I'd ever heard a whole Sebado album from start to finish, except for the ones that you did after we became a couple, which were "Defend Yourself" and "Act Surprised." And so. God, you know, and I don't even know if I've listened to Defend Yourself all the way through, to be perfectly honest. But I have, I'm sorry, but I have listened to Act Surprised uh, a number of times. I like that album. I like that album. So if, if you, if, if you're a fan of Sabado and you're out there and you, you're like, just stuck on the good old days and, you know, only like Sabado, Bake Sale, etc., check out Act Surprised. I I think it's hey, got a lot of good stuff. Thanks for the juice there. You're welcome. Little You're juice welcome. for act I, surprised. I really act, I mean I think there's uh there's a lot of good meat on that one and so, some some beautiful moments. Anyway, but this is about bake sale. So it was my first time sitting and listening to a Sabato album. I I am forty seven, lose fifty seven, right? Yes, you're 57, you're going to be 58. So we have a, we're like the, we're kind of the opposite ends of the Gen X spectrum, but I am the youngest of two, I have two older brothers, so I'm much deeper into the Gen X, you know, and um, I love music. Music is a huge part of my life. It's always been a huge part of my life, but Sebado, I'm from Minneapolis and St. Paul, I just didn't hear about them. And it doesn't mean they weren't big and that people I know didn't know them. People did. But I was very much more into like um, kind of shoegazery music, I guess you could say. Like yeah, text- you, liked, you liked Lush. I liked Lush. I loved the Jesus and Mary chain. You loved My Bloody Valentine. My Bloody Valentine, Teenage Fan Club, um, the Cocteau Twins, The Cure, stuff like that. And- Good bands. <laughs> You liked the ones that sounded good. I did too. I liked all those bands quite a bit. I love those. I mean, I loved that music. And it was, oh, and I also was listening to a lot of female artists. I was telling you, I loved Tori Amos. I loved Sinead O'Connor. I was listening to Fiona Apple. And Cat and so, Power. Cat Power. I, yep. That was a little bit later. but You were a fan. Not in high school. Oh. That came after. I loved Juliana Hatfield. Mm. Love, love, love. And I went and saw her. You know, at First Avenue, she was with the Lemonheads, and that was okay. Incredible. So you heard Bake Sale. What do anyway, you, what, what do you think? What's I'm going to say this. I told you this, and I'll repeat it for our listeners. I'm sad that 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 this album and that Sabato never landed in my lap or my sphere when I was that age in the '90s, in the you know early '90s, because I think I would have really loved it, and I loved Bake Sale. I really loved Bake Sale. I was not really expecting that. And I, I'm not going to lie. I didn't expect it either. Yeah, I was, I, was, I was kind of nervous to hear it. Yeah, I was. I was kind of ready for you to say some 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 hard truths. I was ready to, you know. I mean, you know, because yeah. you, you. I mean, we're. Very, I will be honest with you. You were very honest with me. It's. I find it very uh, very useful in my 
in the way that I make new music and I value your opinions and criticisms. And I was kind of expecting, I think in my mind, I've almost through, I don't know why, but I've kind of diminished the memory of Bake Sale mm. in my mind. And I was sort of made it, I sort of turned it into kind of like a failure in my mind. Like, oh, it wasn't as good as I remembered. And, it, you know, and it didn't, and people didn't really like it. It just happened to be sort of the ornamentation of that that time period. And it was just something that people, and I hadn't really thought about the emotional impact of the record and the songs. Mm, mm-hmm, and mm-hmm, I was mm-hmm. really struck last night. At, I was, the impact of the songs one after the other between Jason and I, and uh, I, I... Song. I understood it. In five notes. So here, <gasps> well, here's a question. What are you going to sing? I don't know. I could, pl- I could play a Jason Lowenstein song, or I could play uh, Together or Alone. Ooh. Oh, I don't know. Maybe we need to make this a three-part a three part series so that... Well, what do you feel ready to do? I don't know. I kept, I kept playing the Jason song, so... Which one? I want to do not too amused. All right. Okay. I'm just gonna. Yes. Go I love through it. I might make some mistakes. It's okay. You can do it. This is a supportive space. <laughs> that you just said that didn't make any sense to me that's not the way I see it man I'm almost tired of listening to you shift makes me want to go black tar living room couch professor when will you be through with me I'd like to know
headphones were falling off. Not too amused. I got nervous playing Jason's song because I wanted to do it right. (laughs) I love that song so much. Yeah. Oh, man. When that came on last night, I was like, oh, my God. I know. I'm like, I felt like I was sinking into the couch as I was listening to this album because I was having so many. You were, you were literally, you were, uh, you were literally on the couch. Adele was on the couch, lying down. I know. And you did seem like you were sinking into the couch. That's right, I did. I kind of like I was sitting up, and then I was like, I have to lay down. I, because <laughs> <laughs> like I said, so many things were hitting me. You know, I was, I was like, I mean, it's so it's hard to describe being married to you you know what i mean and hearing this work that's like um a part of you such a huge part of you you know and and it's so important and it's so good and wow i feel like i'm gonna cry oh god um i just yeah oh no well i thought it's it's really good. It's a fucking great 90s indie rock, <laughs> goddammit. And, you know, I'm really late to the party, obviously. <laughs> but I'm going to put this shit on, and I'm going to listen to it, guys. And I'm going to really get right there with you. And it and it also, like, the things that were sinking me into the couch was so many things. But, like, I was having a lot of, like, flashbacks to last summer um me lou and izzy spent a month on the road uh lou was doing solo shows and izzy and i were selling merch and hanging out and you know when people would come up to you and they would tell you about a song that was like so important to them and there's many times it's a song off of bake sale um you know it wasn't like i was dismissive of it but it was just sort of like i couldn't relate you know like oh hmm, this seems like it was really meaningful to them you know it was interesting and then listening to this cd i was like oh yeah yes like if i had been in high school and this had come across and landed in my lap i would have also felt so deeply listening to so many of these songs you know and it's not just that they're all heavy there's also lightness and joy and funny and cleverness but when it's heavy it's real it's not fake it feels genuine it feels like you guys are speaking from this place that's like hard to capture in a way you know like you Mm -hmm. had this moment and you guys we're all at this little age and this time and speaking your little truths and wow i mean listen to that song not too amused right Mm -hmm. um the fact that that came out of such a young heart and mind wow yeah jason was only 20 it's i mean i don't know like all of that was hitting me because i know jason obviously as an adult and we spent a lot of time together so it's like And then I, you know, was thinking about him, like, what must that have been like? And, you know, I I was really blown away by his songs, I have to say. I was just like, oh, gosh, I'm going to keep crying. Goodness. (laughs) Guys. Okay. The song Got It. I I mean. I'm taking your morning uh, warm with me out into the day. What? It's so good. And. Um, you know, the, I have to say the, the recording of Not a Friend brought me to like tears. It was, it was intense. Mm. It was really intense. So yeah, I mean, I, I loved it. It was great. And I felt kind of like, um, honored because, you know, like, what if I never met you? And what if I never married you? Would I, would this have continued to elude me and never, <laughs> you know, like been a part of my little, you know, I, musical I'm, history then? I'm glad it's there. I'm really glad it's now I'm really, I'm, there. I'm actually, I'm really, um, not, not, it's not that I'm shocked that you liked it that much, but um, I'm a little surprised and... I was really also moved by the record, and I think, and I think because because of like Jason and I, and, and thinking about um, 
what brought us to that record, how difficult it was to sort of say goodbye to Eric Gaffney, but at the same time... And on that note, yeah. Music Mini Monday uh, I think we're going to have to Thank be back with a part three, you guys. Raw Impressions. <laughs>